Hi, I'm Maya Dvebel, a senior medical application engineer at Materialize. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can make perfect cuts in six different methods. No matter what type of model or what type of cut you need, MIS should have you covered using the design module. The first type of cut we will cover is cutting out a chunk of a model or using other objects to cut out a window, for example. The next ability to trim those hard to reach places is using the trim and smooth method. Method three is another way to trim those hard to reach places, but this time using a mark and delete method. The fourth type of cut can be done using an easy surface patch tool to draw a window you want to cut out. Method five shown in this video is the interactive cut tool. And finally, make those organic cuts using the freeform surface cutting tool in Mimix. Keep in mind, there are many more ways beyond these six options. So let us know if you're having any trouble making cuts and we would be happy to help. Here you see what a basic trim result looks like. However, we wanna trim open all these vessels of the heart, which are all connected. So there's no angle to make a good cutting plane for just the vessel. So let's get started with method number one, where we will create a best fit cylinder to cut open the coronary vessel. You can use a cone, a box, a sphere, or any other object or anatomical model to create this type of cut. This can also be done to create windows. In this case, once we have our aligned cylinder, all we have to do is subtract it from the model and we will have our cut open surface. Method number two is the first method to trimming away those hard to reach places like the vessel you see here. We will first use the trim tool, making sure we have it set to preserve inner and outer and create a trim as if there was nothing behind it. This will create two models where the first one is what we will use to trim away that vessel top that we wanna remove. And the other one is the original model that we will use to union this piece back on. So here we are trimming away that piece of the vessel we don't want. In this way, you can move the trim tool back to remove inner. And once you've made your cut, feel free to smooth it out, do whatever type of modifications you need to make it a nice clean surface at the end of the day. You can even use the mark tool to mark an area and only wrap that one marked region. So here we will do a wrap as well as a smooth in order to get our surface nice and clean before we merge it back onto the model. Next, we're ready to combine the two pieces. So first we will delete that surface that was created with the cut. When we do this to both models on both sides, we're now opening it up for those edges to be combined. So we'll just go ahead and do a merge, or you can perform a Boolean union with those two pieces and they will become one. Now to fill in that remaining open bad contour, we'll just use the fill hole normal tool and then the fix wizard, just to fix up any remaining issues we may have with this process. Feel free to merge the surfaces together if it looks cleaner that way for you. Another method to getting to those hard to reach areas is very similar to the first option except here I'm able to find an angle on the vessel that I want. When I turn on the transparency, I can more clearly see the edges of the vessel that's actually in the back of this view 
to define the trim section more easily. With this method, we don't need to make any more trims after the first trim, and we can simply mark and delete the part that we don't want because it's a shell. Once we have do that, we can perform the exact same steps as before where we delete the surfaces we created with the trim. And instead of merging in this section, I will show how you can use the Boolean union to maybe prevent some of those errors you had. To delete a surface, we can simply split the surface into two pieces. That way we don't have to refill in the surface that we wanted to create. So here we will Boolean union these two pieces back together and we will see a final model with the trim performed. Of course, we can always merge these two surfaces together if it looks better that way for you. With those methods, I'm able to perfectly cleanly cut all those vessels open. Next up, we'll be creating a surface patch, and this is the fastest way to creating those windows holes. You can draw any kind of shape or create a freeform shape and simply delete that surface to make a window cut. Just make sure you have the tool set to go through the surfaces so you delete both sides of the hollowed model. Once we fill in those bad contours, we now have a perfectly clean window. Now on to method number five, using the interactive cut tool to interactively adjust your cutting plane and see a preview of wh what the cut will look like before you perform the operation. You can either use the automatic method or the best fit plane or use the manual method with an existing plane. This will help to make sure you don't have any floating shells, you've got exactly what you need in your cut, and everything is perfect. Finally, method number six will show you how easy it is to make any organic surface or polyplane surface to make your cut. You can either click your points in the 3D window or you can click your points in the 2D images, whichever makes the most sense to you. This is the greatest way to create multi-piece models, for example, or to split off parts of a model that just can't be cut with a single straight datum plane, like the septal wall of the heart, for example. Just make sure your surface goes all the way through your part and the cut will perform perfectly. I hope you found this video helpful. Go make those perfect and clean cuts. Thanks for watching.